Dear Singaporeans and Facebook friends, Act of God, please punish the MOM, Ministry of Manpower of Singapore. Only lightning or flood or tsunami must destroy the Bendemeer Road building like the previous lightning god destroy our Singapore Merlion. Dear Lightning God, Singapore have no law and order to many Chinese uneducated drivers driving our SBS Transit public buses, NTUC uh, Seng Song, uh, NTUC Seng Song gas cylinders, crane, lorry, sand lorry, towing trucks and other heavy vehicles very dangerously in Singapore roads. The very heavy trucks causing fatal accidents, very seriously injuries, hit and run. Yesterday at Block Amokyo Avenue 10, Block uh, 448, McDonald truck was driven by the Chinese national uh, drivers, by the Chinamen. Reversing the truck in, into the small lane of Amokyo with no uh, guideline, no, gui uh, no guidance, no guidance from the reversing, hit the main water pipe and run away without reporting to the police at 10.20. And the McDonald company did not inform the police at, at also. At 11.30, I was walking for my breakfast. None of them called for the police. Immediately, I called the police. And the SCDF, Fire Brigade, Fire Engine Brigade staff tried the best to stop the water. And many thanks to the Fire Brigade, at least they stopped the water. Because it was very heavy. Looks like a volcano in the Singapore. We did not have a volcano, but yesterday is the first time I see a volcano in Singapore. I saw the uncle and auntie help us. Most of the walkway and uh, the was wet and very high level water with sprinkle everywhere. The water is sprinkling. I asked the uncle, why did anybody call for the police? Most of the uncle and auntie said, cannot help the Singapore police. Very arrogant and very helpless. If you call the police, they will ask you many questions. They ask you to put down the IC number. They must tell the name. Then where you stay, everywhere. Then when the police come, they will go after you. They will ask for your IC. They will ask your particulars first. They don't care what has happened over there. They just ask you, look, see me, ah, look, Katolo. Ah, they ask you everything already. Uh, why you want to call the police for what? Uh, this one is water. Why you, why you never call the town council? They will. Uh, they will make insulting, uh, insulting to us as a Singaporean. Why are you so capo? You can call the call the uh, town council to come. That is the worst thing. I when I heard, I cannot tahan. So many police station and uh, ground staff and the town council officers. There was a food court that's nearby. I saw many police officers or town council officers walking around. None of them have called the police. It makes a. Uh, when the police come, it makes a culprit to run away and innocent people will be questioned under criminal. They will be sent a criminal letter for witnesses. Please don't help this government. This is what the uncle auntie says. I was worried if the water shoot at my block of 446, my flat will collapse and I will die. So I quickly call the police. In the, in the past, I think of my own story, I was staying at 71 Yuchukang Road, Main Road. Huh? My house was a strong house. I was staying happily there. SLA and uh, HTB come and disturb me, told me my house is very dangerous to be staying here. It can caught fire or maybe a uh, hurricane will come in. I was asked to do a resettlement. I was given a flat at Angmokyo for $900 rental. And MOM is cheating the Singaporean and giving more work to the PRC Chinaman. I don't understand. The whole Singapore full of all Chinamen and very dangerous. And they are very reckless, all very reckless drivers. And they are uh, unable, to, unable to understand the situation over here. They don't have any humility, humility, no harmony, no humble, no proper courtesy. Bloody hell, I don't know how come the government allowed the Chinamen to come into Singapore and, and, and challenge with the Singapore Chinese. Huh? Oh God! Please help to destroy the MOM building. I think today onwards I'm going to pray the Chinese God. I'm going to 
I'm going to stop praying the Indian God because Indian gods are very lazy in Singapore. The Indian God uh, sleep, uh, start to sleep at 12.30, yeah? wake up at 6, 6.30 a.m. during office hours. Many things happen in Singapore all during the office hours. This our Indian God are uh, sleeping. You know? Never want to bother, never punish all the government people who are doing all the wrong thing here. Thank you God. Thank you Tua Pekong. Thank you Singaporean.